while Sunday's big race is a showdown between Holden and Ford, there's one privateer who plans to make an impact. It'll be his first time in the famous event, but Paul Romano says he's ready to take on the big names. But Alan Jones is away smart. Danger, adrenaline and glory. It's the stuff teenage dreams are made of. But for this young racer, the fantasy is real. At 21, Paul Romano has powered into the competitive world of motor racing as one of the youngest drivers to qualify for this year's Two Is 1000. Hot on the trail of his father, former Australian sports car champion Bap Romano, Paul's on a fast track to the top. His dream run began two years ago in go-kart racing. He said to me, Dad, I want to go go-karting. Originally, I said, oh, that'd be silly. Yeah, then he was go-karting, did very was very successful at that. And, um... Then last year, he uh, was national champion HQs and Peter Brock um, picked Paul up and said that uh, I think the kid's got a lot of talent and much more discussed, but uh, here he is today. Keep it a run to make sure it's all right Saturday. Mm -hmm. Cross the fence and hope you're right to run on Sunday. With a small but dedicated team behind him, this young privateer is gearing up to take his place next to the giants of motor racing. His heroes, Peter Brock, Alan Jones and Glenn Seaton, will no doubt provide his stiffest competition. But behind the scenes, they've also given him advice and support. Quite often during the year, I've gone up to them and asked them advice of maybe starts and just advice in racecraft. Motor racing is by far one of the world's most dangerous sports, and Paul admits he'd be lying if it didn't make him nervous. Yeah, I can remember. Um, in the, sorry, in the beginning of the year, um, round through the Australian Touring Car Championship, coming down this back straight, oh, you're doing about 280 k's and it's really scary for the first time. One year on the professional circuit and already Paul's been headhunted by a major team. After finishing second in the Indy Car Championships early this year, the young Queenslander was awarded a scholarship by his mentor, Peter Brock. And it seems it will be the first and only time he enters the Tui's 1000 as a privateer. Paul's just been snapped up by Philip Morris to drive next year with Alan Jones in the two-car team. Having achieved so much in such little time, you'd expect the success would have gone to his head. But Paul remains surprisingly humble. Like I'm only young, I haven't had much experience, but you know, if I keep plodding along and doing the best I can, that things will turn out good. Paul's a very level-headed young kid. He's a um, young kid, <laughs> but I mean, he's fairly level-headed. Uh, typical 20-year-old, I suppose, but he's, um, he's very quiet and reserved. He's, he's more like a quiet achiever. He's more like his mum, actually. As for the big race this Sunday, Paul's quietly confident of yet another brilliant performance. For sure, we'll be up front of the privateers. There's no question about that, but also, I want to mix it in with the big guns, like the professional teams as well because we actually last round at Iron Park, we qualified six, and we actually were quicker than a lot of the factory teams, which was a good effort. Not looking too